I'm Roger Magolas here at the AI Conference in San Francisco 2018. I'm here with Achilles Tripathi, who's the Chief Commercial Officer for Digitate. Welcome. Thank you, Roger. So, I had an intriguing first question for you. So tell me about yourself, your name, and your role at Digitate. Yeah, so my name is Achilles Tripathi. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer with Digitate. Digitate is a software products company which is in the business of uh, cognitive automation software for enterprise. So we use artificial intelligence and machine learning in our product, but we do not look at it only from an AI and ML and algorithm perspective. We actually go before and after. So we combine it with the contextual intelligence and with the uh, model-driven atomized skills for automation to provide an end-to-end -end experience for the customer. And we think that the contextual intelligence provides a lot more accuracy for algorithms to be able to predict and recommend better. And then our model-driven programming, think of it almost like an on-demand automation, it combines and executes and provides an end-to-end -end experience to the, to the customers. And we apply that to enterprise IT, think of it for workload, AI ops, SAP, what have you. So the AI is in, we're in the early days, I think most people would agree. A lot is going on. Where do you see the AI market going? So I think you know the uh, the market will mature. You know once it goes beyond the hype cycle from uh, the doing it solving a toy problem to solving an enterprise problem. You know so from g just getting people excited to actually delivering much better, uh, much more exciting business results for an enterprise, and that's where we see the market going. And how is Digitate organizing itself and preparing for? This, the changing market. Oh, we designed ourselves for that outcome actually. So the the whole uh, you know the the notion of inter combining contextual intelligence with AI and ML based model driven programming for prediction, forecasting, and recommendation engine, and automation is actually to deliver an end to end value. And so from day one, we are actually serving enterprise customers in the enterprise business, solving their end to end problems in the domains that we're in. Right. So we are very excited because you know I think that's what Digitate is built for. So you have a product called Ignio, right. and um, you know, what kind of benefits and what kind of customers are you um, seeing these days? Right. So Ignio, as I said, is a cognitive automation software product which provides intelligent automation solutions for enterprise IT. Our customers are large Fortune 500 companies, which are large retailers, financial institutions, telecom service providers, manufacturers. Uh, we cater actually most of the industries today, uh, especially enterprises which are large and complex. And um, Igneo is uh, primarily used in their uh, enterprise IT and operations space. So they're using Igneo to make sure that they have a much better value out of their AI ops, they, which is IT ops application uh, scenario, much better value out of their workload uh, uh, problems, uh, their SAP operations. And we are delivering value on uh, business assurance, uh, making sure that, for example, if I'm if a large logistics player, how can they make sure that their parcel sorting business is not impacted negatively by any technology disruption, and hence they can have much better value to their business or a large retailer. Make sure that the peak season, season they can accommodate much higher online commerce customers, as an example, mm -hmm. or a large energy customer or a telecom customer to onboard a customer or, an, or a contractor, what would normally take them anywhere from two days to a week to now less than 10 minutes for an agility. So customers are using it for assurance, business assurance, for agility, to deliver much faster results. They're using it for end customer experience, and of course they're using it for productivity and efficiency. Okay, you, you use the word disruption, and do you mean in the sense of things that are uneven or like just technology innovation disruption? So the large enterprises have many things that work together to deliver a specific business problem, or to solve a specific business problem. And uh, normally for, and there are so many uh, interconnected pieces and, there, and it's a constantly changing dynamic environment. So any change somewhere causes a disruption either upstream or downstream because of which the customer experience is impacted or a business is not able to close the transaction. So for example, you know, if I'm, a, if I'm trying to do an online banking, and if certain services is down beyond, you know, beyond then what it needs to be, even in the middle of the night, the Twitter starts lighting up and because the customers are not happy about it, right, as an example. And that's a, that's a business disruption to the mm -hmm. customer. Okay, that's a disruption. So AI, automation, these are 
people are talking about this a lot. How do you think this is going to disrupt the services industry, and where do you think this is all heading? So uh, I'll answer it in two parts. So first of all, I think you know would AI, machine learning, and automation disrupt the, the way we do things? Absolutely, right. But I think you know the um, I wouldn't think of it in a product versus services world because my view has been that you know every disruption creates new products and creates new services models. It's not either or. Right, so I think you know as it creates uh, you know different operating models for the businesses, and it creates new opportunities for products, software products. It also creates new opportunities for the services. Uh, my experience has been that technology, any new invention in the technology, increases the adoption and actually creates more opportunities for everyone. Rather, it doesn't come at the cost of anyone. So yeah. I mean, no matter who you are, how you touch technology, it's an exciting time for you. Right, it sure is. Yeah. So thanks again for your time. Thank you very much, Roger. Yeah.